Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of The Supernatural Files. It's where we dive into the unexplained and the supernatural realm itself. Today, we are just going to go to a scary creature. We are going to venture back in time to when the pharaohs ruled the world. We're talking about ancient Egypt and the one that we are focusing on is the god himself, Osiris. What is Osiris all about? How did he come to power? Why is he famous? Stay tuned and we will explain all. So without further ado, let's go back in time to the lands of ancient Egypt. Osiris is the god of fertility, agriculture, the afterlife, the dead, resurrection, life, and vegetation in ancient Egyptian religion. He was classically depicted as a green-skinned deity with the pharaoh's beard partially mummy-wrapped at the legs, wearing a distinctive atef crown, and holding a symbolic crook and flail. He was one of the first to be associated with the mummy wrap when his brother Set cut him up into pieces after killing him. Osiris's wife Isis found all the pieces and wrapped his body up, enabling him to return to life. Osiris was widely worshipped until the decline of ancient Egyptian religion during the rise of Christianity in the Roman Empire. Osiris was at times considered the eldest son of the earth god Geb and the sky goddess Nut, as well as being brother and husband of Isis and brother of Set, Nephitis, and Horus the Elder, with Horus the Younger being considered his posthumously begotten son through syncretism with Aya. He was also a god of the moon. Osiris was the judge and lord of the dead and the underworld, the lord of silence, and Kanti Amitiu, meaning foremost of the westerners. In the old kingdom, the pharaoh was considered a son of the sun god Ra, who after his death ascended to Ra in the sky. After the spread of the Osiris cult, however, the kings of Egypt were associated with Osiris and death. As Osiris rose from the dead, they would unite with him and inherit eternal life through imitative magic. Though the hope of new life after death, Osiris began to be associated with cycles in nature, in particular the sprouting of vegetation and the annual flooding of the Nile River as well as the helical rising of Orion and Sirius. At the start of the new year, he became the sovereign that granted all life, he who is permanently benign and youthful. Let's get into the parents. Osiris is represented in his most developed form of iconography wearing the Atef crown, which is similar to the white crown of Upper Egypt, but with the addition of two curling ostrich feathers at each side. He also carries the crook and flail. The crook is thought to represent Osiris as a shepherd god. The symbolism of the flail is more uncertain with shepherd's whip, fly whisk, or association with the god Anjeti of the ninth Nam of Lower Egypt proposed. He was commonly depicted as a pharaoh with a complexion of either green, the color of rebirth, or black, alluding to the fertility of the Nile floodplain, and mummiform wearing the trappings of mummification from chest downward. Let's get into the mythology. The pyramid texts describe early conceptions of an afterlife in terms of eternal traveling with the sun god amongst the stars. Amongst these mortuary text at the beginning of the fourth dynasty is found an offering the king gives and Anubis by the end of the fifth dynasty the formula in all tombs becomes an offering to the king gives and Osiris Plutarch recounts one version of the Osiris myth in which Set, along with Queen of Ethiopia, concerted with 72 accomplices to plot assassination of Osiris. Set fooled Osiris into getting into a box, which Set then shut, 
sealed with lead and threw into the Nile. Osiris' wife, Isis, searched for the remains until she finally found him embedded in a tamarisk tree trunk, which was holding up the roof of a palace in Bibelos on the Phoenician coast. She managed to remove the coffin and retrieve her husband's body. In one version of the myth, Isis used a spell to briefly revive Osiris so he could impregnate her. After embalming and burying Osiris, Isis conceived and gave birth to their son, Horus. Thereafter, Osiris lived on as the god of the underworld. Because of his death and resurrection, Osiris was associated with the flooding and retreating of the Nile, thus with the yearly growth and death of crops along the Nile Valley. Theodorus Siculus gives another version of the myth in which Osiris was described as an ancient king who taught the Egyptians the arts of civilization, including agriculture, then traveled the world with his sister Isis, the satires, and the nine muses, before finally returning to Egypt. Osiris was then murdered by his evil brother, Typhoon, who was identified with Set. Typhoon divided the body into 26 pieces, which he distributed among his fellow conspirators in order to implicate them in the murder. Isis and Hercules, known as Horus, avenged the death of Osiris and slew Typhon. Isis recovered all the parts of Osiris's body except the phallus and secretly buried them. Let's get into the worshipping of Osiris. Annual ceremonies were performed in honor of Osiris in various places across Egypt, evidence of which were discovered during underwater archaeological excavations of Frank Gudo and his team in the sunken city of Thonis Heracleion. These ceremonies were fertility rites, which symbolized the resurrection of Osiris. Let's get into the powers and abilities of Osiris. Powers Land Lordship Osiris possessed a power generated by his own heart. It was the ability to save dominion over all lands. Extended Longevity As a god, it is assumed that Osiris is a long-lived god, which means despite his physical appearance, he is possibly far older. Telepathy He was able to read others' mind to learn their guilt and bring it forward to them. Necromancy As a god of the dead and the underworld, he could summon the dead and force them to do things against their will. It was implied that he can control the ghosts of monsters as well. Weaknesses, mortality. Despite being a god, Osiris could die due to being stabbed by any weapons of divine nature. This was demonstrated when Set stabbed Ram's horn. Being stabbed by a ram's horn will put Osiris into deep sleep from which he apparently cannot be awakened, effectively incapacitating him. However, this isn't a permanent solution. He will only sleep for a couple centuries. I don't know about you guys, but I did learn a couple things about Osiris being a DD of many things. I hope you guys learned some stuff too. By watching this video, you are more educated about the god Osiris. If you like this video, hit the red subscribe button down below. Hit it with the thumbs up. Click the notification bell to always on and leave a comment down below. Well, I guess it's my time to go back to the... What is it? The... It's not the present, not this present, Egypt present, so a different present, which would be my present. It, time travel is all confusing. Oh, looks like my ride is here. Until next time, I'll see you guys on the next episode of the Supernatural series. See ya.